Hi everyone, just want to show you one important thing about the Eastern crankset. This is my Eastern Carbon uh, crankset that's on the chain alley. And um, I've been having some issues with um, some clicking noises and all with this crankset. And I believe it's the the bolt that's in there that's uh, consistently coming off. Uh, what happens is that in the cinch system, which is the the system, the mm, this family of uh, cranksets from from Eastern uses, uh, I believe it's a race face uh, patented design. It's a crappy design anyway, and that's why I'm I'm making this video. So you have this uh, this bolt goes in there, and you torque it. it it's it requires a, a nine, sorry, an eight millimeter uh, Allen key. So you you torque it right, and it goes in, and um, it brings this part this aluminum part onto the other, right? So you have multiple threads, uh, but we're just working with the, the inner threads at this moment. So you torque this bolt up to, well, to exactly 50 Newton meter, right? So, okay. So you torque it out, that's one and done. Then you have this cap that it's not just a cap. You see there, cinch and, and well, and then if you look closely, the cap requires a 16 millimeter um, key and then a 20 millimeter, sorry, 20 newton meter um, of torque to 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 get spec. To the, to the to to the dark right so and that gives you a, a clue about why is this such a weird system this cap should be only for aesthetics in in my opinion it should be only for aesthetics why because this bolt, when torqued up to 50, uh, 50 Newton meter, uh, it shouldn't come off. And there's no, when it comes from the factory, there's no um, blue Loctite on it. So it just comes like this. And you don't know if you should lubricate it or put some paste on it or Loctite or anything. You torque it, uh, then you you screw the, the cap on and it torque them both to the specified uh, numbers. And somehow they come off. Well, they don't come off, they don't get loose on the road, that's not the issue. What happens is that this uh, cinch system is a spline, but it's a conical spline. And you mate it axially. If you think about the Shimano system, it goes uh, one part and mates the other axially, but then it's bolted. Um, cross axially, right? You 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 tighten, you tighten the the uh, the Shimano uh, crank arm, the other one, this way, right? This one is tightened this way, and it's a. There are two or three things that make this a a bad system. 
one of those is the way you tighten all of this but the way you tighten this wouldn't be awful if for instance see this the axle ends right there and all all of this part excuse me give me give me a second this is not a doesn't matter all of this all of from that gap right there all the way to the end of the right there to the end of the, the crank the crank arm there's no axle there so you have this you have this volume or this 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 uh, this it's almost one third of the axle is sorry one third of the crank arm is out comes outwards from the axle and and if you compare that to a Shimano standard what happens is that the at, the axle comes right up to the to the edge of the crank arm right and that makes a huge difference because you're working with two thirds of the the the, the deepness the the deepness um, sorry the, the depth of the 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 crank arm has the axle and then that same area is conical what happens is that when you're pedaling you're doing a vertical force in this way right right up here with this distance so you're creating this momentum right this type of movement and this type of movement comes and then gets here and what it's doing it, it it's like jiggling the the crank arm out of its axle because if the axle wasn't something conical and if it would it, it, it's like what you want is a, a it's an axle that's not conical that has a spline and comes right up to the edge of the crank arm so when you jiggle it there's no th there's nothing that makes it makes the crank arm come off the axle it, it, it's like shimano it, it, it's like shimano understood that right but these guys didn't so what happens is that you talk to your bolt and that's all fine fine and dandy right go you go and pedal you pedal 100 kilometers and the bolts just get loose and i was hearing this clicking noise this tick 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 while i was pedaling and it was it was cyclical right so it matched the 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 cadence from the pedals so i suspected it was either a bearing malfunction or this crappy system again it's the second time this happens and and i was riding this bike rode it rode it to the till the end of the 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 ride I, I want um, two days uh, two days ago and and then I switched to to my single speed which uh, which has a Shimano 105 uh, uh, crank set uh, of course with just one ring but uh, it's a it's a 105 and and the the rigidity of the the, the crank uh, the, the crank set the shimano one it's 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 orders of magnitude superior to this one this after riding this and then the 105 
Um, I don't know. There's no reason to buy such a this crank, uh, this crank set. It flexes. It's expensive. It doesn't work as required. So you want when you pay four hundred uh, euros for something, and that's four hundred euros without the rings or the spiders. You then have to buy these things separately and then also a torque wrench because this requires a some sort of automotive um, automotive grade torque wrench because it requires 50 50 newton meters um, it, it's not 15 it's not a small wrench it's a it's a big one and you have that's a a hundred buck at least a hundred buck wrench and so we're just for this we have to we we have to pay like 600 euros just to have this crank set and then it fails on you why just because of 100 and around 150 grams when compared to a shimano 105 you don't you don't need all this hassle and 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 one thing one other thing is that it's 150 grams lighter than the 105 okay but it flexes so it, of course if you get if shimano wanted they would have would have uh, develop um, a 105 that's 150 grams lighter than the one uh, they, they sell you but then it would flex so there's no secret in 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 this crank set it, it, it's just it just has less material that's all so if it's lighter but it flexes more that that <laughs> what's the what's the secret there there's there's no technology technology there's just less material so you're paying for something that's inferior in quality inferior inferior in reliability and uh and, and why and with there's no point to it and then that, that, that there's the other there's the other issue with the, the inserts, uh, debonding either on top or on the bottom, uh, which I didn't have so far. Um, but let's hope it 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 keeps uh, it keeps being like that. Um, but yeah, th there's no reason for you to uh, buy this crank set, buy a 105 from Shimano. You don't need anything extra, like you. You, you can't. To to when you you come to 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 when cam, uh, time comes to uh, torque the the bolts on the other side of a Shimano 105, you can actually just tighten uh, tighten them by hand, and you can actually feel the bolts um, getting tight, which is something. You don't on this this type of system. On the other one, that there's it's more uh, conventional, and you kind of even without a torque wrench, you feel the bolts getting tight, and they are actually tightened to the specification on that point because they require 14 newton meter uh, on the Shimano 105, and 14 newton meter, it's it's actually the 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 torque when you start to feel the bolt to to, to to stop progressing on the thread and and even without a torque wrench you'd have a shimano um installed uh like uh like it should and then it's bulletproof uh only i'm talking about the 105 because the ultegra and dura is are bonded uh, crank arms and the 105 is it's it's 
the same weight as the Altegra without the, the chain rings. It's one gram off from the, the Altegra and um, it's a, it's a, um, a solid construction. It's hollow, but still it's, it's, a, it's like a forge or machine piece. The Ultegra, I don't know why, uh, it's a bonded one. So you have a, a top part and then the, the back plate. And sometimes they, they just uh, crack and, or, or, or start to debond and then crack. Uh, so buy the 105, which is almost half the price. It's exactly the same weight and it's the one that's reliable. And uh, maybe change the rings or some, something. Um, and it's the, the, the crank set to go. So this is a review about the Easton EC90. And my advice is to buy the Shimano 105. Um, you have endless applications for it. Uh, nothing goes wrong with it. It's bulletproof, it's light. It's not the lightest one, but why do you want something that's lighter and either or, either flexes or comes off? Why would you want that? Uh, weight is not everything. First of all, you need to have the thing working and then you have to concern yourself with weight. I could make this out of paper. It's it would be lighter, right? If it's made out of um, uh, uh, like um, uh, some plastic, some really light plastic, it would be lighter, like extremely light. But uh, the the pedal, the weight of the pedal, would be enough for it to break. So, is lightness the answer? Well, it isn't. Firstly, you have to, things should work. And only then they should have the weight come down all the way to the limit of it working. And this crank set is below that threshold. The answer is 105. And I believe that below that, even with Everything Shimano, Shimano, if Shimano wanted to make it lighter, and I believe the Ultegra is the one they tried to do that with, or maybe Dura's, they just debond and crack themselves. <laughs> maybe crap themselves. So even Shimano is showing you, hey, listen, the 105 has the is on the weight limit of it working and being reliable anything below that threshold uh, will just break so that's kind of your answer right now i don't know about the the thms claviculas which has which are carbon um crank sets they cost around um, a thousand or a thousand two hundred uh, euros uh, the cranks for the, either the cranks, just the cranks or the crank set. I, I'm, I'm I don't know from from uh, memory, but um, they don't have um, inserts at least on this part. They don't have the the aluminium inserts. They they get tightened like the Shimano ones and they are carbon on they are fully carbon and the axle is aluminium but because they don't have the the aluminium insert I don't know uh, maybe they work but then again they will have I believe they have an aluminium on for the pedal for the thread of the pedal so they are, I believe, lighter, 100 gram, grams lighter than these ones. But I believe that still you have an issue with, uh, you could have an issue with um, 
aluminum insert from the from for the pedal so and they are expensive they are more than double the price of these ones so my my opinion is that unless you want to have your bike on the wall stick with shimano 105 forget these ones forget anything else and and yeah that's that guys like the video subscribe share the video see my other videos and 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 the playlists about this bike or any other bike uh, and i see you on the next one take care